Today is the feast day of the Ascension. And on this day, Jesus ascends to heaven, his true home. When we pray the mystery of the Ascension of the Rosary, we ask for an ardent desire for our true home, heaven. Indeed, heaven is our home. And let us consider for a minute what heaven is. Can we understand and fathom just how happy we will be in heaven? No, we can't understand it. It's beyond our understanding. We have nothing by which to measure it. Or do we? Heaven is filled with happiness. In fact, heaven is so filled with happiness that it is overflowing. And we can tap into that happiness right here on earth. Yes, so how do we tap into that happiness? For don't we all wish to be happy? Is that not what we are seeking in our whole lives? Happiness? That is what we are seeking. We are seeking happiness. And unfortunately, many of us are seeking it in the wrong place. That is, in earthly things, which cannot give us happiness. True, they can give us momentary pleasures. But that's just it. They're momentary. They will end. And what are we left with? Whereas happiness in heaven will last forever, for eternity. So do we not wish to do all in our power to obtain this great treasure, this happiness, which Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us? He's gone to go to heaven, and he's preparing a place for each one of us. But we have to do something on our part to earn that place. It's not like he's just going up to heaven saying, you can all come up here. No, he's given us certain things to do. But let us return to the happiness of heaven and how we can tap into that here. Because by tapping into the happiness of heaven here, we will learn to perfect the rest of our lives. And it is in prayer that we can tap into the happiness of heaven. Taste and see how sweet the Lord is, it says in sacred scripture. So let us taste and see. Let us learn the art of prayer. Not just the mere recitation of words. For didn't Jesus say, many say, Lord, Lord? No. This is prayer that must come from the heart out of true love. It has got to come from our heart. Our mind must be purified. And we can go into the spiritual books and learn how to do this. They go into telling us how to meditate, and perform mental prayer, which is the basis of all true prayer. Because it is when our mind and our heart is with God that we truly pray, not when we're merely saying words. So let us taste and see how sweet the Lord is. Let us tap into the happiness of heaven by learning how to pray. Name the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Ghost. Amen.